Another somber day of mourning in London, thousands paying their respects to the late Queen Elizabeth II. Princes William and Harry joined her six other grandchildren to stand vigil by her coffin today in Westminster Hall, where she's lying in state. This a day after King Charles and the Queen's other children stood vigil. Senior Foreign Affairs Correspondent Greg Palcott has the latest from London. Greg. Hi, John. We are now at Westminster Abbey, where the state funeral for the late Queen Elizabeth II will be held on Monday as leaders from around the world gather here. Just touched down in Air Force One in the last hour or so at an airport north of London. President Biden, First Lady Jill Biden, they were greeted there by U.S. Ambassador to the U.K. Jane Hartley. They will be joining over 70 heads of state, hundreds more dignitaries. All told, some 2,000 will be attending the funeral itself. Meanwhile, the Queen lies in state at Westminster Hall, not far from where we are right now. The public and special visitors are allowed to view. Earlier tonight, it was the turn of the Queen's eight grandchildren to hold a silent vigil around the casket, led by Princes William and Harry, and included their cousins, the children of Princess Andrew and Edward and Princess Anne. Harry, of course, has had his differences with the royals in the last few years. That once again was put aside. In fact, King Charles reportedly allowing Harry, who has stepped down from his royal duties, to wear his uniform for this occasion. The wait to see the Queen, well, that has been up to about 17 hours tonight. The line, or queue as it's called here, over five miles long. There was an incident last night when someone made a move for the casket, but he was quickly stopped by security. We were with the crowds again today, and it is amazingly warm and good-natured and resolute. Also mixing with the crowds today, King Charles III and his son, Prince William. They spent about a half an hour doing that. Both royals and public seemed to enjoy it. The two basically bucking up the public during its long wait, sharing greetings and sharing some small talk. And at Buckingham Palace today, we also got a chance to see the women behind the throne and heir to the throne, King Charles's wife, Queen Consort Camilla, and William's wife, Princess Catherine, at a lunch for officials of the British Commonwealth. That's the former British Empire. We now know, uh, John, that the Bidens will be paying their own private respects to the Queen tomorrow and then attending a reception for themselves at Buckingham Palace to meet King Charles III. And then Monday's funeral and procession, hundreds of thousands of people are expected to line that procession route. There are something like 20,000 police and soldiers who will be dispatched all around this area. It's being described as the biggest security effort by the UK since World War II. Well worth it. Back to you, John. All right. Greg Palcott reporting from London. Greg, thank you.